always protect your images with a copyright. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. In this post production tips video, we're gonna talk all about copywriting your images. First, we're gonna start by looking at metadata. Metadata is where the copyright information can be found on our images. Let me show you a few places you can see this metadata on different software and on your computer. For Lightroom Classic, here in the library module, if you go to the right side panel, you can see a dropdown called metadata. This is the metadata for the currently selected image. And you can see in here, there's, you see my file name, copyright information, and also EXIF data from the camera itself, including capture time and date, uh, focal length, ISO, if a flash was fired, even your exposure data, your shutter speed, and your aperture. Let's take a look at the image in Finder. If I right click on the image and select Get Info, you can also see some metadata here in the More Info section of Finder. Now let's right click and open that image in preview. With the image open in preview, if I go to tools, show inspector or command I, you can see this EXIF data, again, metadata regarding the creation of this image. If we go to Photoshop, if I pressed shift option command I or go to file, file info, you can see here's that camera data or the metadata for this image. All right, that's what metadata looks like. It's just data about data or information about your images. And there's one very important data point inside of metadata that we need to consider, and that's the copyright information. Now, I often teach my photography students to be proud of the work they create. That's either signing a print or adding a copyright information to the metadata. Now, I believe a copyright is gonna do two very important things for you. First, it's gonna help protect your images from being used without your permission. And second, it could provide possible opportunities for future work. If a person is interested in your images and they're able to find your personal details within the copyright information of the image, they could now reach out to you regarding future work. Now, let me show you how to add it to your images. All right, here we are again in the library module in Lightroom Classic. Underneath this metadata dropdown, I can just simply add my copyright status in these text fields. If I select this copyright field in the metadata panel, I'm gonna type option G for the copyright symbol, and then I'm going to type in my name. So copyright Trent Bates. Copyright status, I'm going to change to copyrighted. Now be careful, because if you accidentally select public domain and then upload your images, that's basically a free for all for your images. People can use your images. Next, I'm gonna type in my name for the creator. Now you could also add your title. I'm gonna put photographer here. And then I'm also gonna take this caption, add my website URL to the caption field. This is a great practice, because this is an easy way for someone to be able to look at the caption and see how to best contact you or to see how to navigate to your website and then contact you. All right, now that was a manual way of adding my copyright information to this specific image. If I also highlight the next image and select synchronize here at the bottom of that panel, we will see the synchronize metadata dialog box. Now I can select which items I'd like to copy to the other image by selecting the check boxes next to these fields. Now this caption, I'd like to copy that to the new image. Copyright Trent Bates, copyrighted, okay. Also Trent Bates here in the IPTC creator. And I think that's it. I'm gonna add the IPT status of photographer. I'm gonna hit synchronize. Now, if I select the next image, that information is now copied to that second image. All right, that's the manual way to add your copyright information to each image. But there's actually a way to create a preset and apply it to a bulk set of images, and also during import. Let me show you how to do that. So underneath this metadata dropdown, we see a preset dropdown. Select edit presets. A new dialog box now appears similar to the last one we saw. And we can see the information I added to that second image and the check boxes are still highlighted. Now I can go through here and add additional information for my copyright preset. So I'm gonna scroll down and actually add a rights usage terms and copyright info URL, and then also add some more creator data down here. So for the copyright URL, I'm again gonna add my website. And then down here in the IPTC creator, I'm also going to add my website. A very important copyright detail to add is this rights usage terms. I'm going to add all rights reserves, no reproduction without prior permission. Now you can also add personal contact details for your images. All right, now this is where you need to be a little bit careful. If you add specific contact details like your home address and then embed it in the metadata for an image and then upload it, someone will be able to harvest that information and find out where you live. So I'm usually pretty general with my contact details. So for the creator country, I'll put USA. Creator phone number, I'll add a phone number. For a creator email, I'll add the email address. And then I can even add a creator job title here. Now I select done 
and that preset I can save however I want. Trent copyright. Select create and that's finished. Now I can select the next two images and drop this preset down and select Trent copyright. If I select all selected, will now be added to those images. This preset also applies to a different location inside of Lightroom Classic. I think it's even more simple to do this at import. So select import, and then on this right side panel, you can see this drop down apply during import. If I select metadata and select Trent copyright, that copyright preset I just created will now be added automatically to every image I import. And this makes this process a lot quicker. I do this every single time I import images into Lightroom Classic. I apply my copyright from the get-go and I never have to think about it again. So this preset is always applied. All right, let's export these two images and I'm just going to export them to my desktop. All right, and now we can see both images here on the desktop. I'm gonna open them in Photoshop and view the info. We can see under the description, there's my URL and the status has changed to copyrighted. All right, that's how you add copyright information to your images in Lightroom Classic. It's a pretty important step and I highly recommend, if you're not already, to add it to your workflow. And do it from the beginning at import and it makes it simple. And remember, it's going to do two very important things for you. It's going to help protect your images from being used without your permission. And second, it's going to provide your contact details for anyone who's interested in your photography. If you have any questions about adding your copyright information to your images in Lightroom Classic, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.